Welcome back racewalkers. Firstly, I'd like to introduce you to Guy, my new intern. Say hi Guy. Fantastic. Now it seems I may have offended Karen from White Springs in the last volume. Karen from White Springs Accounting, and she's something that rhymes with which. And it's caused me no end of problems. So by way of apology, I've taken on Guy here as an intern, and I've agreed to show some of Karen's holiday slides. God help us. Guy, run VT. Oh, very nice. Who responds when the responders aren't responding? It's not very pleasant in them parts. Taking a dip at Spruce Knob Lake. I caught a large dose of crabs there once. Okay. Uh, okay. Good stuff. Get stuck in while you can. There ain't long left. Well, that was something, and I'm sure we'll catch up to Karen later on in the volume. Guy, would you like to open the door so we can get into volume 4? Run the tape, we boy. We're kicking off this volume with the lab coat, and if your objective in the game is to look like Dr. Foster went to Brown Town to practice colonic exorcisms, then head over to Gorge Junkyard. where you'll find two in the wheelhouse of this boat. Yummy. Now we're talking. This is the leather coat, and my brother Tell, who has an uncanny knack of being able to make his tunes look exactly like he does in real life. While the best I can manage is a Bridget Nielsen in Beverly Hills Cop lookalike. Now this is currently rare as unicorn shit and drops from events in the mile, excluding the Enclave events. I got mine from Heart of the Swamp, but happy hunting on this one, and no I won't trade mine. The Leopard Print Bandana, and all bandanas are available at, but not exclusive to, White Springs. School's out, it's the Letterman Jacket and Jeans, one of the many varsity outfits in the game, and you can find this at White Springs. Next up we have the Longshoreman outfit, a favourite of a very good friend of mine. This is one of the few outfits in the game that actually removes the backpack animation. I'll get through a couple more later. And you can find this with the Travelling Responder vendor. First of the headwear items is the Marine Armour Helmet. You can find the plan for this in Mole Miner Perils when the event is on, and try your luck in player vendors when it isn't. Next up is the Marine Tactical Helmet, and the plan for this spawns at a location I'll show you now in Harpers Ferry. That is where the plan spawns. If it isn't the plan you want, leave the plan in place and the server hop to refresh. Good luck on this one. Hi, hi, it's the Medical Cobbles. You can find these at the previously covered headwear spawn locations of Blackwater Mine or the Sons of Dane compound. Keep it basic with a military cap, and you can also find this at the previously mentioned headwear spawn locations. The miner hat and the miner uniform. There are both clean and dirty variants of these. Same can't be said for Parker. And to find both of these, I'm going to show you a new spawn at Charleston Fire Department. That is the outfit spawn. You'll find many common outfits cycle through here. And that is the headwear spawn. Don't forget, if it's not what you want, leave the item in place and serve a hop. A regular mining helmet with an actual working flashlight. You can find these at Blackwater Mine. Meow. Next is the turn of the Mr. Fuzzy mining helmets. Which, as you can see, come in three colours. I think the blue one's my favourite. 
This also comes with a lamp, but the animation doesn't display it. And it also makes it look very similar to the Mr. Fuzzy hard hat, which doesn't have a lamp. So, I'll go on Bethesda. You can acquire these at Camden Park with Mr. Fuzzy tokens. You get the tokens from the missions Dross Toss, Lucky Mocha, and the Chow Line. You can get the helmets from the gift shop behind the vendor. But as you only get three tokens from each mission, this can be a bit grindy. So keep an eye out for them and player vendors, or get trading with a player that has a few to spare. I found the flashlight, it's on me toe. I'm off to kick some up the arse and light their life up. The Mr. Fuzzy Hard Hat comes in one colour, yellow, and you can find it at Quarry X3, or Quarry Times 3 if you are an idiot. There was a joke about crabs and toilets here somewhere, but I lost it. There you go. Read all about it, it's the Newsboy Cap, and this one is front page news at White Springs. The Nuka World Geezer and Nuka World Jacket and Jeans. You can find these inside one of the TNT domes at the Black Mountain Ordnance Works, and you will need a key to get in. But I'm not one for spoiling too much gameplay in this series, so off you go. I've got Tell to let me in. Sisters are doing it for themselves, it's the nurse's uniform, and you can always find one of these at the dry cleaners adjacent to AVR Medical Centre. And there you have it. Next is the old fisherman's hut and Guy what is going on with that shot, it's way too dark, you have one job. That's no excuse fam, fix up. And you can find this at White Springs, along with plenty more interns Guy. The old ring, my old ring's prolapsed, but I'll talk more about that later. You can find this as part of the mission Ecological Balance on the shores of Nougat, but no spoilers, so instead I'll go back to talking about... Oh, no, <laughs> The padded blue jacket and tells doppelganger contemplating its next move. You can find this at White Springs. Fun fun fun, it's the party hat. You're presented with one of these on leaving vault 76, but you can also find one at the frat house. Bless you my child, it's the pastor's best month. Sympathy, let's get your asses over to White Springs, yes. The patch suit. To get this and many other unique outfits, you can redeem Pleasant Valley claim tokens. You can find these on the bodies of all the humanoid enemies. Raiders, ghouls and scorched and so on. And you can redeem these under the vendor at Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. Head downstairs from vendor bot resin. Always worth a try. And chat to this guy. I am happy to serve you. Greetings. Do you have a claim ticket? Checking claim ticket. Here is your check item. Thank you for staying with us. You can redeem as many tokens as you have as often as you like, but this guy only has one thing to say and once you've heard it a few thousand times, you won't want to hear it no more. Checking claim ticket. There she is, Karen, boss lady of White Springs, in the patrolman's sunglasses. And now that I've apologised, I'm allowed back into Oh. And of course you can find these at White Springs, if you're allowed in. The Pioneer Scout Uniforms. Presented with one of these on completion of the mission, the Order of the Tadpole, you can get the other two by spending possum and tadpole badges at the Scout Cabin location vending machines. Pirate costume and pirate costume hat. These were drops from the event Mischief Night, and that doesn't seem likely to return, making these along with the Jack O' Lantern pantsuits and the fireman outfit, not the helmet, legacy items. Good luck tracking these ones down. Here, tell, why are pirates called pirates? Because they are! 
with standard police uniform and car running away from that last joke. For this, head to Morgantown Airport. I covered this spawn in Volume 1, and if you haven't watched previous volumes, links should be on screen right about now. And there it is. Polly's old head. You receive this as part of the wayward storyline, if you progress in the right way. But I won't spoil the outcome for new players. The pristine minor uniform. For this, head to Abandoned Mineshaft 5. I've been in a few Abandoned Mineshafts in my time, but I've been forbidden from talking about my private life any further by the producer. You right down there, sunshine? And there it is. It's the prisoner collar, modelled by the capture of my heart. You can find these all over the interior of Eastern State Regional Penitentiary. And for you nuclear felines, it's the pompadour wig, and this is among the many headwear items you can find in the locker room at White Springs Golf Club. This is the Prospector's hat, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. And if you have, you're pure gold. Love you. This can be found, of course, at White Springs. The prototype hazmat suit. Now I'm told that these are still available in game, just not at level 50. So if you do have a level 50 version, keep hold of it. It's a nice legacy item right there. I'll let you lot research and find these yourselves. I'm not doing everything. The Radical's face mask. Another potential loot drop from the Wayward missions. And something else I will let you research is getting this requires actions I don't want to spoil here. The Radstag hired outfit. It's not very good looking. And then again, I'm going to leave Ronald to describe what I think of most of the outfits in this volume. And this can be found at the Sons of Dane compound. The ranger outfit and hat, and their clean counterparts. I think she likes you, Han. For the regular items, head to an outfit spawn I haven't covered yet, but the Sons of Dane compound. That is where the outfit spawns on rotation, and you will find the hat next to it on the right there. For the clean variants, hit up the travelling responder vendor. The ratty skirt and the never ready at all girl hooks. What? I'm joking, I'll take it out. You can find this at White Springs. The red bandana, available at Pier 1 Imports, Woolworths and White Springs. Gorgeous. And the red dress ain't bad either. You can find this with this guy. Greetings. Do you have a... The reclaimed deep mining mask, a potential loot drop from the event A Colossal Problem which it can be trying to get this from the event itself. Keep an eye open for it in player vendors. Responder Fireman Helmet and Responder Fireman Uniform. And after the Mischief Knight outfits, these are among the rarest items in game. For these you need to do any and all events in the forest, even the extremely tiresome ones. These don't drop together either, making them rare separately but extremely rare as a bundle. These really are hot stuff in the trade forums. And I'd also like to thank Gilos for getting me my first set. Love, love, love. And ultimately, we have the Responder Police Uniform, which have a chance of getting from the mission a final departure, an early responder mission. But it is pretty common, and you will come across it easily in player vendors. And lastly, we have the Ritual Bindings and Ritual Mask. You can find these inside the Mothman Museum at Point Pleasant. People around there are really helpful. Right, that about wraps up this volume. I'm off to see if this disguise will get me into White Springs. Please check out the rest of the channel, and I'll see you in September with Volume 5, as I'm filming exclusively nuclear winter content for the rest of August. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the near future. Rustic out.
Nah fam, I disagree. The first film was crap. Why are you going to make a sequel to a crap film?